So uh, I have to say, first of all, that I never thought about myself as a woman consultant or sure. a woman professional up until that point. So mm. it just wasn't an issue. In fact, a little anecdote is that uh, when I was being uh, interviewed out of IMA for my first job, one of the interviews I did was actually with uh, a woman who was very senior in her organization. Mm -hmm. And the interview was going swimmingly well and I was answering some fairly technical question, I remember, mm -hmm. when she suddenly interrupted and she said, what will happen after you get married? Will you still work? <laughs> and I have to say that I was, I had not, I mean, such a question had not even crossed my mind. So I sat there like a deer in the headlights and then I just said, you know, I'm, I mean, I don't even know how to <laughs> answer this question because I never thought right. it, it would be an issue ever, right? Right, right. Uh, so one doesn't really, uh, the short point is that you can't really anticipate what it is like to go through a life stage until yeah. you are in that life stage. And for me, therefore, I didn't really think about options. I said, you know, let me just go through it, have sure. the baby. And I was given this advice by everybody to say, you don't have to be sure what you will feel like three months down the road or six months down the road or two weeks down the road. You don't have to make that decision don't overthink it, yeah. about when you come back, mm -hmm. you know, go through it. You've mm -hmm. not experienced this before. And, and the wonderful part about the firm was that they said, we are always here. So you figure out what works for you and don't prejudge and preempt because you've not experienced this before. Great and that's advice I took to heart. So that is exactly what I did. The first time I had, you know, my first child, I, I took, uh, you know, a year off. Uh, and then I came back uh, through a lot of different, experimented with a lot of different flexible options. But for me, the big thing was don't feel under pressure hmm. to prejudge or know. And it hmm. might well have been that I had, I would have felt ready much earlier, right? Hmm. Hmm. So there was no point really, uh, you know, trying to... Cognitively solve it. Yeah, exactly. I had the experience. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Right? With you, with you. And, and do you want to double click on the experiments? Uh, the reason I ask is sometimes, uh, specifically around maternity as a transition, is uh, I do believe that sometimes people see it as a binary decision. Uh, do something else, stay, come back to the organization. But often there is a opportunity to figure out what the different possibilities could be. So talk to us a little bit about uh, how you thought about different experiments at that stage. Well, I was fortunate in that a couple of things happened. I think one thing was that because I was in the consulting profession, uh, paradoxically maybe to what people expect, it actually offers you a lot of flexibility options. Mm. It is more flexible than many other professions mm. might be. Secondly, I think I was in an environment where they were keen to make this work for me and therefore there were no boundary conditions or ground rules. I was told to craft whatever option worked for me. So I had a lot of choice and I could figure it out, right? Hmm. So what were the options? There was clearly one path that said, well, I don't want to work full time. I do want to work part time. Mm -hmm. But the conventional model of part time, which is I work four days, I take one day off in the week, that doesn't work because children don't follow. Babies certainly don't follow that <laughs> clock. right? That. So we worked out a much more flexible model in which I would broadly work 60% of my time, but mm -hmm. have the ability to step back and do whatever I needed to at the times that more or less worked for me, provided, sure. you know, it worked for the team also. There was sure. a bit of give and take, but it wasn't very rigid, right? Mm. So I did that for some time. Then there came a time where I, uh, you know, my husband was actually uh, living in Hong Kong at the time, and I was in uh, Bombay with my baby, and I wanted some time flexibility to be able to spend time in Hong Kong and then come back. So we crafted something where I would work on a client engagement for a short period, maybe three months, and then I would t withdraw and, you know, take off and go to Hong Kong and spend, you know, three weeks there and then come back and then do something else. Got it. So we modularized it so that I could take breaks between the work that I did. Um, and then there were many other options as well along the way. But the, uh, the interesting thing is that now, you know, we've actually given lovely brand names and lots of, uh, you know, formalization this, to uh, all of the options. These that are packaged. We, these are all packaged. They're a the menu of things. Uh, but we still give people the message that if you want to craft something else, which mm. is outside of this or a combination of these, feel free to do that because we think about every woman here as a segment of one, right? We are going to solve for you. So let's figure out what it will take to solve for you and make that flexibility happen.